All right, I already know I'm going to get some haters on this video, but we're going to do it. We're going to talk about it because I think it's been long enough and it's time. Was Jill Taylor one of the most toxic moms on 90s television? Now, don't you lot even start with me before we get into this. I want to say that I love Jill Taylor and I also love Tool Time. It's held up incredibly well. Way better than Friends. Anyway, Jill was easily one of the big stars of the show, which had an excellent cast from start to finish. But she kind of has some behaviors that if we looked at them now, uh, not great. First you have Jill's listening skills, which I'm gonna give her a hearty three out of 10 points on. Because Jill is not the best listener in the show, right? She goes to people like their Wilson or whatever his name is next door. And she goes to her husband and even her kids and her friends for advice all the time. And she always needs advice and she always has to offload stuff, but she's not really good at doing it back. Like there's at least one episode when Tim comes home and he's really, really excited about some big news that he's got. And she just blows him off and is like, I'm too busy. I've got my own stuff to worry about. I don't care. There's also a couple episodes where it's like this, a similar type of thing where Tim might be trying to, or even one of the kids might be trying to talk about their problems and Jill, has a tendency to come over the top and just start talking about herself. And that active listening skill that Jill's not too great at kind of leads me into the second point, which is the emotional labor factor. And there I'm gonna give Jill a solid five out of 10 because Jill's pretty good when it comes to the boys, right? Like she's, she's pretty good at listening to the boys and doing emotional labor for them and like pouring into them and not expecting them to only pour into her. She's like always in the wings and ready to help them with big feelings but not really with Tim. She kind of always expects Tim to like swoop in and do right by her emotionally, even if she doesn't tell him what it is she wants or needs. She doesn't really do the same with Tim. So we're gonna give her five out of 10. But the real thing that gets me about Jill is the double standard. Like there's this terrible episode where she really kind of like bullies him to get rid of his friends. And the friend may have turned out to be a dick, but like she didn't know that at the time. She just didn't like the guy. And so she basically like tells Tim, you can't invite him around, stop talking to him. I don't want him around. Not great. But then Jill has a friend who is super obnoxious as well. And that friend has to be in the house, has to like be a part of their family at all times, yada, yada, yada. And then there's this another little minute where Jill starts, she, she goes to college and she gets a career and all of those things. And that's all good, that's all great. But then there's this really weird moment where she gets her own bank account and Tim finds out about it and that she's got all this money in it. And he's like, well, cause, you know, they're not a rich, they're not a wealthy family necessarily. Like they're okay, but they're not like millionaires. So he says like, well, are you gonna help with some of the family expenses? Cause right now all the family expenses come out of my account. To which Jill says, no, you pay for the family. Your money is my money and my money is my money. Which is like, yeah, like women should have their own money, but that was not a great example. So two out of 10 on double standards. But then there's also kind of like this weird stuff with the kids that Jill does. And so for this, I'm gonna give her six out of 10. And it's this weird ego-based thing. And like, there's this whole storyline where she tries to force Jonathan Taylor Thomas into like ballet dancing or theater or something that he really doesn't want to do. And he's really uncomfortable doing, um, and he's not good at it. And she tries to force it on him. And she does that a lot with the kids. But the real killer for me personally is kind of like the lack of accountability that runs through Jill's storyline. When everybody else does bad, Jill's coming for it. But when Jill does bad, she'll hide it, she'll lie about it, and she like never gets in trouble for it. <laughs> anyway, what do you think? Was our beloved Jill Taylor a toxic 90s TV mom? Let me know in the comments and follow for more.